My name is Marcy Summers, and we're here because we invited you, who are an international team of photographers, to come and help us document and bring to life the beautiful biodiversity that we have here um, in Tampa Chica. Got three members, uh, three members of the photographic team, with a huge assortment of assistants and and guides and everybody else making things possible. Uh, we've got Sandesh Kadur from India. We've got uh, myself, uh, Kevin Schaefer from the United States, and uh, Reza Marlon, which is uh, who's a, one of the top uh, nature photographers in Indonesia, uh, who's joined us. This is a beautiful patch of uh, sago palm trees along the stream bed. This place was about a four hour walk from the closest village. There's been human habitation all the way through. Uh, and this is the start of virgin, unbroken, beautiful tract of forest. And I think this is our base camp. It's a lovely place. Little forest huts. Looks like we got here just in time. Yeah. Ah, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. If not, uh, it's incredible. I'm looking at the horizon, which you can barely see, it doesn't look like the rain's going to stop. But anyhow, we're here and uh, we've been assured that the spot for the Babirusa and the Anoa uh, is not too far from here. Well, that could mean another one, two hours, who knows. But it's very wet, very slippery, very muddy. But we're going to go out there and set up camera traps as soon as we get some food and hopefully as soon as the, there's a short break in the rain. Well, this uh, spear is a Babirusa spear. And this person's had it for the last 40 years handed down from his parents and it's known to have killed over a hundred Babirusa. They've lost count after a while. Okay, we have a small window of opportunity. Sunlight's come back, the rain stopped. The entire trail is muddy and wet and mucky of course. Thank God I got these boots from somebody. But uh, yeah, we better go set up our camera traps as quickly as possible before it starts pissing down on us. Bit of a stream crossing.
is still correct? We've been here about 10 days and we're very close to a breeding colony of Maleos, the uh, endemic bird that uh, was sort of the main reason that this conservation project was started, to protect these birds, which are desperately endangered and only found now in a couple places. And uh, that's been one of the highlights for me, has been spending time uh, close to them, watching them, observing their behavior, photographing um, you know, their arrival, their mating displays, their uh, dig, dig, dig. Uh, they're, they're birds that uh, lay their eggs in hot sand and ink let the sand incubate their eggs. So it's been really, uh, really fun. My highlight in, in this almost two week uh, trip is uh, still Maleo. Maleo is not found everywhere, not found in, in the world, only in Sulawesi, only in the mainland. Uh, because uh, the Maleo is, is one of the important species from Sulawesi and not, not so many places anymore. And a good place, good site for the Maleo. That, that's why I am here. I think our mission here has been to document not just the Maleos in this area right where we are now, but also to f we've been fanning out in various locations around the peninsula, uh, trying to document both you know, the, the wildlife of the forest, the forest itself, and the threats to that forest. And I had the opportunity yesterday to go out and document some pretty widespread destruction caused by the uh, clearance of forest for oil palm plantations. And that's real concern around here because uh, it's, uh, it just means this forest is quite vulnerable because there's cash incentives for villagers to, you know, for, give up their land for oil palm plantations and you could come back here in 10 years and see nothing but, uh, but plantations. It's been a terrific experience. It's been, uh, it's been hot, it's been humid, it's been challenging. Uh, rainforest photography is never a walk in the park, it's always, uh, you know, you hope to see something close enough, you know, that's not up against the, the sky at about 100 feet up. So, uh, take some time, take some effort, but we've got, so we're trying every trick in the book uh, to draw out some interesting uh, images and try and make a difference here in uh, Sulawesi.